welcome back to my channel. So finally, the much-awaited video, Mochi's Cage Upgrade. I took a, I believe it was a 20 long, it was originally a guinea pig cage, but I made it into a hamster cage. Um, what I mean by that is I made it so that she can't squeeze her little head out between the bars because the bars are obviously made for a guinea pig. So they're about this big, which a little dwarf hamster like herself can just go right through. So I completely covered it with chicken wire and made it so obviously it was safe for her. As you're about to see, I added some tubes to the top portion so she can have some where to climb because she loves her tubes and now technically she has like two floors. Um, so she, it's it's really awesome. She loves it. She's running around constantly. She runs through the tubes. Um, I just really, really like how it turned out, and I'm really glad that I finally was able to get her a bigger cage. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to be really excited with how it turned out, because I, again, I thought, I think it looks great. <laughs> so a quick disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I was not going to make a tutorial on this only because this is the first time I've done it, and again, like I said with the Crested Gecko build uh, video way back, um, I don't feel comfortable telling you how to do something when it's my first time doing it as well. It turned out great and it's pretty easy to follow along so if you do want to do this it's not hard at all it just took a lot of time. I would recommend it if you have because they don't make huge cages for hamsters that have small bars they always do like people do 20 long like actual tanks which yeah that's totally fine I just I don't I like to have more circulation air wise through the tank so that's why I went with this instead but yeah it's not a tutorial easy to follow along I will answer questions if anyone has any just leave it in the comments and yeah without further ado let's get into the cage okay so these are the supplies that I have for um, making this guinea pig cage able to be used for a small little dwarf hamster because as you can see the bars are extremely thick and whatever their head can get through they can get through I have the guinea pig cage, obviously. Um, I have the chicken wire that I just got at um, a tractor supply store in my area, but you can get it, obviously, at Lowe's, Home Depot. This one I personally have, it's five feet, 24 inches. Um, there were other chicken wires that, had, that were like a lot longer, but this was the only chicken wire that had this small of openings. And then I also have my dad puts it in this really, he like duct tapes it, I don't understand why, but it's just metal wiring that I'm going to use to tie this to the cage. And then also, obviously, wire cutters to cut the wire. Oh, 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 
so the cage is all done. So these are the things that I'm going to be putting in there for her. So I got her this giant like mansion play thing um, that she can hide in, sleep in, chew the whole thing, it's all natural. I also got her a cute little thing to take a dust bath in. I'll only be putting this in two to three times a week. Um, and by dust I mean sand. Got her this stuff right here, it is uh, bathing sand. I'm really sorry about the background noises, my chinchillas. No, it is time for their dust bath, so they are eagerly waiting to get out. I also have a wheel just for now. It's just a one of those flying saucer wheels. I'm going to be getting her a nice like silent spinner that you can get off on a um, Amazon. They're just pretty expensive. They're like 30 bucks for like a little wheel. But um, until then, this is her little wheel. I have one of these little snack shack tubes. Um, completely edible and also I've just noticed her nails are getting a bit long so I hope that this sandpaper kind of texture will help grind them down when she plays in it. I also got her a little hanging strawberry house that I'm going to hang um, in there so she can go in there if she'd like. I got her a bunch of tubes so I'm not going to do it tonight. I want to just get her in here. Um, but I will be doing it tomorrow because I have to go buy more wire. I ran out of wire. But what I'm going to be doing with these is I'm going to be taking the tubes as well as the tubing that she already has in her little cage right now. And I'm going to be putting it one so she can get in there. And it's going to go up and all the way up. So it's going to be like she has two stories to this thing. So she's going to have a whole top floor of just tubings that she can run through. Um, but for tonight, she's just going to have the bottom, which is way better than what she has. Um, just because I want to get her out of that cage. Another thing that I have that I was really, really excited about because it's super cute, but my dog got a hold of it. <laughs> so he kind of like made the front a little gross looking now, like like right there. <laughs> um, but I don't think Mochi will care. It's a little hamster bed. So it's supposed to hang. I don't know how the heck this is supposed to hang, but I'm going to take this off. I don't, I'm not going to hang it. I'm just going to put it down so she can sleep in there if she'd like. I also got her a glass water bottle that's going to be hanging on the inside. The reason for glass is because since I'm going to be putting it on the inside, I don't want her to be able to chew through it and eat the plastic and then cause a hole and all the water to spill out. So yeah, that's everything that's going on in her cage and I'm going to set it up right now and get her in there. I'm super excited. Alright, so this is going to be the cage setup, um, except we're going to add some tubing in tomorrow, but this is it so far. She's got her little bed, her wheel, little chew log play in, hopefully we'll grind her nails a bit, her little mansion, she's got her food bowl, and her water, and a little hanging house. Um, if you're wondering why I was putting food in all of the things, including the bowl, obviously, um, it was because hamsters are foragers, so to get her more to interact with her surroundings, and it's just more fun for her, I just added some food to her environment so as she goes and explores, she can forage as well because she'll find the food as she goes. This everybody is Mochi. She's super cute and she's really, really sweet. So I'm really excited to put her in there. But, but let's put her in.
guys think? Let me know down in the comments because again, I love it. <laughs> I really like that I changed the bedding from just that gray color since the cage is already gray to that like bright purple. I've never been into like colored bedding, but that one I think it just makes it look a lot better. It's not like ugh. But yeah, that was the cage, that was the video. Again, if you guys have questions, please feel free to ask them. So look out soon for a bunch of videos on all my different animals. Like I said in my update video, I do have some newcomers, which I will be doing videos on. Um, if you haven't seen my update video yet, I would definitely go check it out. Um, I show you all my new animals and all of the new kind of changes I've made. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what animal you want to see a care guide on. So I'll probably do another animal tour really, really soon. So with that said, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really enjoyed making this video. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. I keep saying that. I'm sorry, but I am. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching again, and I hope you guys have a great day, night, whenever you're watching this, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one.